Welcome to Standing Firm Tribulation Radio, broadcasting the truth in the last days, giving commentary to the latest news, encouraging the faithful remnant through God's Word to help you stand firm. This is a worldwide ministry to all of God's children, of which many are currently undergoing intense persecution while others are facing an onslaught of demonic activity, extreme weather, and catastrophic disasters. You're listening to Tribulation Radio. We will be back in less than a minute after Paula Dispro introduces our show with heavenly music in a short music video. Remember to stay tuned for later in the show when Paula sings a different song each week to the glory of God. Stand firm, stand firm. We are safe within God's loving hands. Keep on trusting all His sovereign plans. Stand firm in Him. Stand firm, stand firm. Keep on walking in God's holy ways. He will give His strength to face each day. The name of our show today is Blissful Living in a Dark World. Many Christians desire a blissful life, while the powers of darkness close in from every side. Many of them long for peace of times past, while dissension and hatred rule the day. Many long for joy, where now is just a fleeting memory from days gone by. Most have longed for a blissful life in a dark world. As children of light in a dark world, most have longed for the fruit of that light that would carry them beyond the memories of joy and peace to the blissful life of living in His presence. Most have longed for that life where time is no more and where we are set free from its aging process to a life of being forever young, to be set free from the confines and restrictions of time itself. That's blissful living in eternity. As God's beloved children, we can have a foretaste of that now, in this life, encapsulated in the rigors of time, death, and dying. We as God's beloved children can become transformed in Christ to experience this blissful life that's well beyond most people's imagination, that ventures to the mountaintop of love and tranquility. If you're interested in making this a reality in your life, please keep watching. Do you want that incredible joy and the peace that defies understanding while the indwelling spirit fills every fiber of your body? There are those very powerful yet gentle electrical impulses that make you feel totally alive. Some have described it as being cuddled up under warm blankets on a cold night. You are in the presence of the Lord. As you are lifted up in love, there is no fear, no pride, but only a divine humility where we don't run ahead, flooding the throne room with questions. No, we simply listen, allowing God to direct our thoughts and supply the answers on questions not asked. We are thrilled to rest in the glory of His light. As children of light, We can have a foretaste of that blissful life to come by discerning what pleases the Lord. The Bible says, Walk as children of light, for the fruit of light is found in all that is good and right and true. And try to discern what is pleasing to the Lord. Ephesians 5, 8b-10 
So the key to this blissful life is discerning what pleases the Lord. We know this because pleasing the Lord has led us into absolute bliss. So let's not pass over this very powerful verse without discovering the timeless truths on how to please the Lord. A good starting place is understanding that it's impossible to please the Lord without faith. Hebrews 11.6 Faith is much more than believing all the facts and truths in our sacred doctrines. Although it's extremely important, it's even more than believing all the truth in Holy Scripture. Faith is believing but it's also trusting in Christ to completely do everything He has promised. It's also trusting in Christ to keep us from falling into the snare of the devil or tripped up by the powers of darkness. It is trusting in God alone to solve all of our problems without the help of self-righteous man. For most, that's easier said than done. Most have learned in early Christian education or discipleship to proclaim loudly that they are trusting in God. It does not count as trusting in God if we agree to try His way, but when the promises don't quickly materialize, we then take matters into our own hands. For example, we can proclaim that we believe the Bible that says, according to His divine power, hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of Him that hath called us to glory and virtue. 2 Peter 1.3 The Bible does not mince words when it says, given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of Him. So the Bible has given us all knowledge necessary to live life and for living a godly life. We can easily say we believe the truth, but it's much more difficult to trust God to deliver this information without the help of self-righteous man. Once that faith and trust has been established in the believer's life, then we're ready to proceed allowing the indwelling spirit to have complete control of our life by heeding his promptings to put off the old life and put on the new life in Christ. As Christ grows us from one degree of glory to another, then we are experiencing the transformation in Christ. We will discover quickly that Christ is our true counselor. Along the way, we will be confronted with many choices in an evil world. As spiritual fruit is produced in the believer's life, they will be led to make the proper choices by choosing what is good, right, and true. Every time we make the proper choice, it will please the Lord. So how do we know what is good, right, and true? We know it through the study of Holy Scripture and by listening to God through the Holy Spirit. Make the wrong choice and you will displease God, possibly grieve the Holy Spirit, and reap the consequences of your unholy action. Fear not, for the indwelling Spirit dwells in every believer, gently leading and guiding them along life's narrow path. We simply must learn how to listen to His voice through prayer and meditation. We must learn to be sensitive to His nudges and promptings that are confirmed by the Holy Scripture or the direction given to us by other mature believers who can properly quote Scripture in its proper context. The more you walk in the light, the easier it becomes to discern what pleases the Lord. On the other hand, the more you walk in darkness, the more difficult it is to please Him. Let's be very clear on what walking in darkness is. To knowingly disobey any of God's commandments is walking in darkness. To have anxious thoughts, to dwell on past wrongs, to have thoughts of revenge or thoughts about getting even is walking in darkness. To hate others by constantly slamming them or finding fault is still walking in darkness. This should give us pause about the news media and social media. To worry about things that you cannot change is walking in darkness. Yet we have heard about how anxiety has gripped the whole nation. To fear the unknown of what's currently falling upon the world 
is walking in darkness still. To trust in others to solve your emotional and psychological problems is clearly walking in darkness and the grip of Satan. I have already written about how the psychiatric industry will be overwhelmed which the world powers will use to their advantage. To deny any of the great and precious promises in the Bible for believers is still walking in darkness. We will never discern what pleases the Lord if we're walking in darkness. We must learn how to walk in the light of His glory if we want to experience the blissful life. The Bible says, For they love the glory that comes from man more than the glory that comes from God. John 12, 43 Many have never really walked in the light of His glory because they are more interested in receiving the praise of men. Many believers in these dark days desire praise from self-righteous men. Deep down they want others to brag on them and congratulate them for their work, even their work for the Lord. These people are not walking as children of light. To walk as children of light, then we must aim for the only thing that will follow us to heaven. The Bible says, But covet earnestly the best gifts, and yet show I unto thee a more excellent way. 1 Corinthians 12.31 Loving God and others are at the apex of the Christian experience and lies at the heart of a blissful life in Him. It is a more excellent way. There is nothing more important than loving God and others. To do so truly pleases the Lord, moving Him to offer His praise to us by sharing the light of His glory. As we walk in the light of His glory, the world will not give us any recognition or appreciation. As we walk in the light of His glory, our faces will shine forth as the noonday sun. As we walk in the light of His glory, all of God's love will flow through us to others. As we walk in the light of His glory, we will experience the blissful life. As Christians, this is what we long for every day of our lives, blissful living in a dark world. Please join me in prayer. Good morning, Heavenly Father. Lord, we know it's quite impossible to please you while walking in the darkness. It's the light of your glory that helps us to discern what pleases you. It is your marvelous light that helps us to see what is good, right, and true. And the more we walk in the light of your glory, the more we will know what pleases you, which opens the door to a blissful life where time seems to stop as we rest in your presence. We pray that all of your children will taste the blissful life by withdrawing completely from the darkness around them and walking only in the light of your glory as a foretaste of things to come. Please show your children, dear Lord, how they can easily do this one step at a time until they have come fully into the light, allowing the barnacles of the old sin nature to fall off one step at a time. Once they have a foretaste of this blissful life, we pray that it will motivate them to continue the process of transformation. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Reading from the King James Version, the Bible says, Walk as children of light, for the fruit of light is found in all that is good, right, and true. And try to discern what is pleasing to the Lord. Ephesians 5, 8 through 10. We have some amazing vocalists today to assist you in the application of the message you have just heard. But first, I would like to introduce all of my books, not for profit, but for continued support of our ministry. Please consider ordering one directly from my website that will benefit both you and the ministry. I would like to invite you to visit my online bookstore today for one of these incredible books. Final Warning offers evidence that the beast is already building the global city of Revelation. Stand Firm helps lay a foundation for the Christian soldier to overcome the wiles of the devil. Guiding Principles for Biblical Counseling is a very practical book for the layman and the professional. 
Revelation Truth is a collection of all my timeless articles written to help God's children stand firm. have a lot more show, but first, I want to personally invite you to listen to an important message from God for all of humanity. This is a message that I never tire of listening to. Then please continue listening after this important message for our next vocalist, who also sings to the glory of God. We all know that Jesus Christ came to save the sinner and give them a new life in Him. But what many of us have forgotten is the true nature of sin. Yes, we have all sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But what is sin? We will all agree to disobey any of His commandments is sin. But how many can you quote? You might say, if I love God and my fellow man, then I have fulfilled His commandments. But don't forget that He has given us over 127 commands in the New Testament alone to show us how to love God and how to love one another. On our own, we cannot obey. But with God, all things are possible. Not only has He promised to save us, but give us the ability to obey all of His commandments and trust Him alone. This is all by the grace of God, not by works lest any man should boast. This grace comes through faith, believing in Jesus Christ, who is the true Son of the living God, who died, was buried, and raised on the third day, opens a door to a new life in Him. This is a life where all of our sins are forgiven, and we are made into a brand new creation, where old things pass away. 
From the very first day, we're given the gift of the Holy Spirit to lead and guide us into all truth, producing every manner of spiritual fruit. This eternal life misses the sting of death and ushers us into His glorious presence. This free gift is given to those who are called into His kingdom. Dear friend, if you have not yet accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord by placing all of your trust in Him to make you into a new creation and forgive you of all your sins, then you can do that right now in the privacy of your own home. Come to Jesus right now confessing and repenting of your sins, telling Him that you believe that He is the Son of the living God and the only path to salvation, asking Him to take full control of your life as Lord. Our great nation is full of strife, there's trouble on every hand. Satan's disciples are running wild, trying to drive God from our land. Lust and greed are common things, cause idols are everywhere. The saddest part of all is most people don't seem to care. Our country was founded on the principles of God, His commandments were seen everywhere. In public places at every level and everything started with a prayer. Satan got a few of his people Claiming reference to God shouldn't be The courts agreed with what they said They rejected our deity Let's return to God Put Him first in everything Let's return to God Follow Jesus Christ our King Let's return to God And repent of all our sins Let's return to God and He'll return to us again. Well, the devil went to sports and the judges agreed, saying, ban God's name in our schools. Professing themselves to be wise, they became a little more than fools. Violence and hate have taken his place, and guns are a common tool. We'll never be safe again without God and His golden rule It's not safe to go to a movie anymore or leave your home at night Violence has gotten completely out of hand Much that the devil's delight It's because we're turning our backs on God No longer love our fellow man A nationwide revival is the only fix For the mess that's taken our land Return to God, put Him first in everything. Let's return to God, follow Jesus Christ our King. Let's return to God and repent of all our sins. Let's return to God and He returns us again. Let's return to God and He returns us again. Thank you for listening to Tribulation Radio. I pray that God has richly blessed your listening experience. Please help us spread the truth by telling your friends and family about Tribulation Radio. May our God bless and protect you until we meet again.